Stressorizers are found everywhere. Picture a chocolate chip cookie, if it's been overbaked, let's say, and you get a little crack in it, that's a stress riser. If you bend that cookie, it's gonna snap and break right through where the crack is. Well, all materials have scratches and flaws and imperfections in them, and steel can have those same kind of stress risers. Shot peening is used to prevent cracking of materials. I'm Mark Bossert. I'm Vice President of Engineering at Campcraft. I've been there 27 years and my responsibilities are to oversee all of our engineering activities and new technologies and innovation. Compressive residual stress is a measurement of the tension of the surface of the material and it's created through shot peening by these little BBs that hit the surface of the material and expand that material. And if there were any imperfections or scratches or flaws that are underneath that surface, they're kind of hidden under these little craters that are on the top. And therefore, they can't open up and cause that material to fail. The benefits to using the peening process that we've developed is it allows the engineers to design their product in a smaller package. They can use thinner wall sections, because the compressor residual stresses make up for those thinner walls. Where we have found a great application for shot peening is in the fuel injector market. Without shot peening, uh, these fuel injectors will fail at maybe 10,000 or 50,000 cycles. And after shot peening, we've been able to get up over a million cycles without failure. Where we can be the most effective at Campcraft with our customers is when we can get involved at the engineering level, understand the engineer's requirements, and look at what we have to offer. And if we don't have exactly what you need to get the costs in line, we'll go out and develop that process. At Campcraft, we continue to search for new technologies that can be applied in our industry. With shop peening, we saw an opportunity to improve our customers' existing product.